Tenakoto. Kia ora and welcome to this series of videos for assessors. In this video, we will cover what you need to do when you have been asked to provide learner assessment samples and supporting evidence for moderation. We want to help you provide the right information for our moderators so they can best quality assure your samples and assessment practice. Let's get started by covering the following points. The moderation process, what happens when I'm sent a request, what assessment documents you will need to supply us, useful tips and tricks around scanning if you choose to email assessment samples, and keeping learner assessments, how long you must do this for. Moderation is the process of checking assessor decisions to ensure learners have demonstrated the right level of competency and that the assessment process is fair and valid. Every year we send letters to our assessors requesting learner assessments for moderation. We usually ask for one to three assessments and assessors have three weeks to send these in, either by courier or preferably by email to moderation at primaryito.ac.nz. Our annual moderation calendar lets assessors know when their sector is going to be moderated. You can check when by viewing our moderation calendar on the assessor section of our website. What documents do I need to send for moderation? A copy of the completed learner's assessment booklet or the relevant assessment section from an evidence portfolio. All other evidence the learner has collected for their assessment such as photos, worksheets and other workplace documentation. Label photos and videos with the learner name, the task they are doing and what the task it relates back to in the assessment. For example, John Smith tying a bowline US 31185 Activity 2. Here's a tip. A driver's license is a great way to identify the learner in photos. Logbook diary entries used as part of the assessment should be complete and dated. In this example, the log shows the different dates the vehicle was ridden by the learner. Check verification pages are signed by the verifier with comments. Verifiers need to print their name and sign. They should write comments explaining what they observed and why they know the learner is competent. Written feedback is important for both the learner and for the assessor to decide if the learner has achieved the national standard. Complete the assessor sign-off page with comments. Make sure you print and sign your name. Please remember, assessors need to print and sign their name and write comments that show how they know the learner is competent, i.e. tell the story. You can supply either photocopies or scan copies of the original documents. Check all pages are included and can be easily read. Genius Scan and Office Lens are free mobile phone scanning apps popular with assessors. Scan pages as one PDF document. Take care when scanning to make sure the pages are the right way up and in order. Our moderators can't read your documents if they are upside down. Where the assessment is double-sided, remember to scan both sides. If pages are missing from the assessment, the moderator may not have enough evidence to decide if the learner's assessment met the national standard and if your assessor decisions about their competency are correct. This may result in your submissions failing moderation. Label scanned assessments with your assessor name, the unit standard number and the learner name. For example, Joe Bloggs 31185 John Smith. Other evidence like photos and job sheets and logbooks should be scanned separately. Label photos and videos with the learner name, the task they are doing and what activity it relates back to in the assessment. You can use a Google Drive or Dropbox link or SharePoint for files that are too large to email such as videos and photos. You must keep all your learner assessments for two years. These should be securely stored in your workplace so they can be easily retrieved if required for moderation. We don't encourage the practice of returning assessment to learners due to the potential risk of cheating and plagiarism. However, if your learner wishes to keep their assessment and you believe this risk is low, then at your discretion, you may do so, but you must take a copy. After two years, you can return all assessments to the learner or securely dispose of them. In conclusion, refer to our moderation calendar as to when your sector will be moderated, send in the right documents, correctly collated, labelled and signed, don't forget to include the verifier and assessor sign-off sheets, Scan assessment pages in order and as one PDF document. And learner assessments must be securely stored in your workplace for two years. Any further questions, get in touch with us at academic.integrity at primaryito.ac.nz. Thanks for watching. Tena koutou, kia ka kitiano.